Michael, I hear that you are building the largest map in the world somewhere in Texas. So why are you building that? What's the aim? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the, um, the number of kids that are going into engineering and science these days is anemic. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you and I are talking because some really smart kids went to engineering school, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and they invented all these great tools we have. And so we're trying to find ways to inspire with passion. So if you look into the average teenage house these days, you're going to find video games. You're going to find virtual reality. So that's what the kids are doing now. They're having fun doing that, and, um, and they're not becoming scientists and engineers and medical doctors. And so what we thought we would do is we would take those super fun things that they're doing and turn them into inspiration that drives them to want to uh, become the uh, game designer, not the game player. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, we looked out at the internet and found who are the biggest um, YouTube guys on the internet, um, guys uh, like Dude Perfect who have tens of billions of views, right? Wow. And um, the, the, uh, the, the kids watch them. And so what are they doing? How can we learn from those guys mm -hmm. rather than saying, oh, that's just stupid. So that's what we're doing. We're building a Guinness Book of World Records. So I've got a map behind me, right? It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's about, um, I don't know, 30 square feet. And so for those of you in a uh, metric system, you can do the, you can do the conversion. But um, 30 square feet is the map behind me. Um, what we're talking about is 59,000 square foot map. Wow. So, and it's a map of the moon. Then people can go out and walk on it and they can see where, where did Neil and Buzz land in 1969? Mm -hmm. Where did um, Charlie Duke land in 1972? And, um, and so it's a giant concrete slab that you can walk on that the moon is painted on, but it's also got virtual reality and augmented reality and gameplay. And um, uh, the, this map is so big, we have a stage. And so we expect famous musicians to come and play on that stage. Um, you can be dancing on the moon and walking on the moon. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we'll have weddings there and you can get married on the moon. Oh, wow. And uh, so, so um, what we're doing is we're trying to create a pop culture thing that connects, um, you know, the, the, the game stuff and the engineering stuff yeah. so that, um, so we can fix a big problem. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's getting a lot of attention. We're having fun with it. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot of fun to be there. And where, in which status you are in the building process? Mike? It's, it's in Texas, um, just north of Fort Worth. So we wanted it to be in the country because we're going to do rocket launches. We're, <laughs> we'll have one of the guys who walked on the moon say, walk out onto our map and say, I landed here in 1972 and I challenge you to do the same. So we'll have, you know, a, a thousand feet away, 300 meters away, we'll have um, uh, uh, a little rocket launch pad where kids can build their own rockets and launch them and try and land on the moon at that one place. So, um, yeah, it's, so that's why we're out in the country. Um, uh, but close enough so the yellow school buses can roll in. No, I'm sure it will be a great uh, experiment and great ex uh, experience for people to yeah. go there and enjoy. I, I was on the one that's, I'm sure, it's once in a lifetime experience. Uh, thank you for that, Michael. And we're looking forward when it's open to public. And uh, tune in tomorrow for the audience listening or watching. Tune in tomorrow for my final question with Michael.